Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. How much do owner operators make? That question is arbitrary. There are so many variables to that question that it's, it's just an open-ended question. And if you're going to ask that question, nobody asked me this question, but, you know, I, I see, you know, videos about this. I, you know, if you're going to ask that question, and I'll give you my insight, my opinion, and if you're going to ask that question, it has to be a generic, uh, generic, yeah, that's the problem. It has to be a, a focused uh a focused question a specific question um like how much do owner operators make lease to a company pulling flatbed how much do owner oper operators make lease to a company uh pulling dry van or you know something like that it has to be specific and the more specific that you get and the better um the more educated the answer will be. So, so just an open-ended question, how much do owner operators make? Anywhere from negative figures to, I don't know, maybe 300,000, something like that, single truck. But it's gonna, are you, are you leased onto a company? The guys that are, you know, uh, uh, leased onto a company, I don't know. I don't like, I really don't like talking about figures because it's, again, it's all arbitrary and it's going to depend on, it's going to depend on how much you work. Um, you work four days a week, you work five days a week, you work six days a week. Um, do you get paid by the mile? Do you get paid percentage? Um, so all of these things are, have to be taken into account, you know, with that particular question. So let me try to give you my insight. I was talking to a propane guy because I was thinking about doing propane at one point. And he said, uh, he, he told me, he said, yeah, it's, you know, five days a week. You know, you got your companies, uh, I think he worked for uh, what is that company? L and L. There's L and L. There's uh, uh, Wilco, I think, and I've seen some other ones pulling around. Um, but they make they make very good money, very good. I'm talking about very good. He told me he brings home like five grand a week, so he has to be grossing at least seven. So six five, you know, sixty five hundred, seven grand, something like that. So, but uh, these crazy people out here, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to get involved with, you know, pulling that, <laughs> that bomb around. Not that, you know, it's it, just for me. This is, I'm speaking for me. You know, if you do that, great, have at it, you know. Uh, but, you know, they make good money. Dump truck. Um, I know a guy personally, he has a, he used to have a, a fleet of dump trucks and he just got tired of, um, uh, he was doing everything, you know, dealing with the drivers and paperwork and everything like that. So he sold his, his two. He just kept the one. He drives the one. And he makes decent money. Um, now, he grosses around five grand a week. Because, um, I, you know, I was talking to him about that. Uh, but, you know, there's variables with that, too. You know, there's going to be various variables with everything that you do. So you got to sit down and you got to look at it. Okay, what, what's the cause and effect? You know, um, like I gave you the propane example. Another example with the dump truck. Your, now I don't know what the weight is with the, the propane. I don't know what, you know, uh, I don't know what the average gross weight is, like 8, 78, 80,000, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But with dump truck, you're always at 78, 79, 80,000 all the time. Um, at least going one way, coming back, you're going to come back, depending on where you go, depending on coming back, if you're, uh, 
get a back haul. I don't like to freeze back haul. You know, it's it's there's a head haul. You know, it's but you constantly have that weight on the truck. Well, that's what the trucks are designed for. Yeah, but then you know, if you're loaded heavy both ways, you know, you're gonna. I mean, there's just so much. There's just so much. I just can't get into it in all in one video. So you're looking at the weight issue with the with the dump truck. You know, you're always heavy. Um, reefer. Uh, refrigerator, what I do. Um, some loads are heavy, some loads are light. Some loads, I just pulled a load down to over to Jersey, it was 15,000. So, and the one I got my load for Monday, I don't know if I'll be able to make it because we're supposed to get like two feet of snow over here. Uh, that one's 20,000, 22, 23,000, something like that. So, it doesn't. That load doesn't pay the greatest, but, you know, I'm going to be hardly burning any fuel. So, I mean, it all equals out. So, I mean, there's there's so many variables to, you know, that question, how much you, does an owner-operator make? Because after, at the end of the day, I mean, okay, you gross, on paper, you gross, I don't know, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, whatever, I, you know, so... Well, what are your expenses? How much you burn in fuel? How much do you, you know, how much is your truck payment? How much if you're, you do you own your tra own trailer? How much is your trailer payment? Um, how much uh, this? How much that? You know, taxes and this and that. What's your um, your business structure? You know, sole proprietor. You're paying. You're paying the highest tax rate there is. Um, so there is just so many variables. So. Um, so I, I joke around with people and, and not really joking. I mean, it's the serious that if you're a company driver and you're making, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $80,000, stay where you're at. There's nothing wrong with that. Trust me. There is nothing wrong with that. You're with a good company and you know, they treat you well, just stay where you're at, you know, but you know, if, if you have that entrepreneurial spirit yeah come on out here i mean you 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 got to start somewhere but um for you guys that are are driving a company truck hey there is nothing wrong with that um i wanted to touch on something else um uh, excuse me right now it'll come to me it'll come to me wait a minute give me one second it'll come to me King. All right. So how much do owner operators make? Now, some guys, I don't know. They'll tell you, oh, yeah, we making all this money. We making all this money. Uh, some weeks you ain't getting paid anything like the truck's going to get paid. Your fuel is going to get paid. The insurance man is going to get paid. Uh, the shop is going to get paid. The um, whoever else you owe money to is going to get paid. But you may not get paid. And that's that's the reality of it. Uh, so even on paper, some you know, on paper, truck may do, you know, six figure. I just use you know six figures. Keep it general. Truck may do six figures, but you know, you may only as a driver, as as the the, the owner, you know, driving your truck, you may only make thirty five thousand, thirty thousand. Um, so uh, I hope this didn't you know let the wind out of anybody anything like that but you know i i try to i just try to you know give information that is useful that sometimes you don't hear you know and you know i'm just trying to be real that's all um so like last i'll give you that last week because the snow jacked my runs up uh I'll tell you how much I made. I'll tell you what, what my settlement was after fuel and everything. It was 800 and, I don't know, 800 and something dollars, $863, something like that. So, truck payment went out. Got the shop payment. So, but, it is what it is, bro. So, I mean, I'm not crying. So, you know, it... it, it, it when you run and you make good, good, uh, good, um, uh, good settlement checks, you know, put the money away.
put it put it away. I ain't gonna say rainy day. Put it away for when I just say when you don't feel like running. That's all. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.